So there I am, working out in the gym, lifting massive amounts of weights, when I see a new YouTube video pop up from one Penguin Z Zero, or as he's affectionately known, Charlie, with a video entitled, This is what a real demon looks like, obviously referencing, as we can see from the thumbnail, Kenneth Copeland. Charlie is a very sharp individual with just about the best smile in the biz and fantastic hair. And this is my response to you, Mr. Charlie, in regards to your video concerning Kenneth Copeland. Charlie, I don't know your eschatological beliefs, the foundations of your soteriology, or your stance in regards to the infallibility of the scriptures. Beloved Charlie, after watching your video on Kenneth Copeland, I really only have one thing to say to you, sir. Thank you very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. You see, Kenneth Copeland is a patriarch in what is known as the Word of Faith movement, which moonlights as Christianity, but at its very core is a cult. A cult that I was in for over 23 years. You spent almost all of your video rightly addressing the disgusting prosperity gospel that Copeland uses to get rich. But Charlie, I wanted to make this video because, as you probably know, it's far worse than just that. Kenneth Copeland pushes many teachings that are not biblical, and they are supremely dark. He not only believes in the prosperity gospel, but that we are little gods, that we can speak things into existence, and this is highly depraved. He teaches that it's always God's will to heal, and that if we aren't healed, it's because we didn't have enough faith to receive it. You will receive your healing today. If you will receive it. Amen. Mr. Charlie, it is this very teaching that has led to half of my family, very, very close family members, to no longer talk to me or communicate whatsoever. And these two family members are pastors. I got out of the Word of Faith movement years ago, and I'm humbled and just supremely honored to have my own little corner of YouTube where I attempt to make some kind of difference to steer people away from the likes of Kenneth Copeland, as well as his vacuous and hell-sending teachings. I'm humbled to be surrounded by a digital family of victims of church abuse and many who are victims of Kenneth Copeland and those like him. Families who are tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt due to tithing to the prosperity pastor. Families who have lost marriages. Family who have had relatives die. Or children who have had their health damaged beyond repair. I recently made a video as to why the Word of Faith movement has completely fractured my family. In this, I share screenshots from a WhatsApp conversation with them. In this conversation, I ask my very close family members what they thought of Joni Erickson Tata, who, if you don't know, is a quadriplegic and well known for her faith and her emboldening messages. You can see my family's response as they believe, too, that it's always God's will to heal, but we must have enough faith. It's a truly disgusting response founded on the teachings of people like Kenneth Copeland. Much like the prosperity gospel, this healing theology is not only disgustingly oppressive, but it's not biblical at all. The Bible doesn't promise healing this side of heaven, and it's empirically evident as you look around in the world around us that Christians by the millions and millions are sick. I have been in this cult, I have lost family to its teachings, and sadly in my awesome little corner of YouTube, my testimony is not a rare one. It is very common, and Copeland is one of its dealers. Even as of late, Copeland has released a string of these kinds of teachings on YouTube. Charlie, you may know already, but this man teaches supposed divine healing is available to us all, yet he has a pacemaker and hearing aid. You can see his daughter and son-in-law here are teaching divine healing, yet they have odd glass-type devices on their wolf-like faces in order to read effectively. How strange. It's not a rare story at all to hear of broken parents who were told that their child died because they didn't have enough faith 
for their child's healing. The prosperity gospel steals the wealth of people, but the healing theology literally kills people and tears families to pieces. 75% of Christ's own healings in the gospels make no mention of faith. The healed man in John 5 didn't even know who Jesus was, let alone have faith in him. The healed man in John 9 didn't know him either. Lazarus was dead when Christ raised him. Just how much faith does a dead man have? We are taught as Christians that we have enough faith for a far greater miracle, eternal life through Christ Jesus and the redemption from our sins. Yet somehow, according to Copeland, we don't have enough faith for the healing of our own eyesight. Of course, unless we give him money. Money! Come on to me! This disgusting teaching coming from a man who says he spoke to his gray hair to bring color back. Put your hand on your head like that. Ball spots, I call you gone. And yet, his face is covered in makeup to cover up the wrinkles and the age. A man who has literally taken hundreds of thousands of dollars from people dying of cancer, promising them that God would release healing if only they would sow a seed into his ministry. Charlie, I truly thank you. You have a platform bigger than some countries, and I am truly grateful to you for using it to steer people away and warn them about Kenneth Copeland. Many people in my theological circles actually believe that he is possessed by a demon, and I agree. Charlie, in your video, you handle the scriptures better than I've ever seen Copeland handle it in years. I am genuinely and wholly thankful to you for using your platform to speak out against this disgusting depravity that truly steals, kills, and destroys. I live quite close to you, Mr. Charlie. I'm in St. Petersburg, and if I catch you in my neighborhood, I humbly request a handshake that I may thank you. I pray that what you've done continues to open up the eyes of those deceived by this wicked man, because as you yourself have exemplified, he does not teach biblical Christianity. Mr. Charlie, I thank you. God bless and mad love.